Hey guys, Dick and Chad. How you doing, Dick? I'm doing fine. Uh, we're pleading before, even before the show starts, for help on our show of December 29th when we are doing the best of and the worst of. Uh, so, if you guys have any of the gadgets that you that has stood out over the last year, 2016. As either the best or the worst gadgets that we've covered, please email us, mail at gizwiz.tv, uh, to submit those best of and worst uh, of yes, gadgets. Yes, and it can be very, it can be very short. Uh, we, yeah. We've got two, we got two emails. Someone said, I bought the so-and-so, and I love it, and someone else said, I bought the so-and-so. It is a piece of, I can't even say it. Uh, <laughs> so it can be, it can be short. But we'd love some more opinions. Mail at gizwiz.tv. We need them fast. We, this is for the show of December 27th. And Thanks, now, everybody. The real show. It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1600, recorded on Thursday, December 8th, 2016. 1600 Giznevania Avenue. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by Casper, an online retailer of premium mattresses at a fraction of the price because everyone deserves a great night's sleep. Get $50 off any mattress purchased by visiting casper.com slash gizwiz and entering the promo code gizwiz. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have more gadgets from the future, 2017 CES. We also have the most expensive gadget we've ever covered in the letter, and it's episode 1600 on the Gizwiz! It's the with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now it is time for the Gizwiz, and here he is. Episode 1600. <laughs> Oh, a special balloon. We have a uh, wow. Gizwiz balloon. And any time uh, that I want to get rid of any of... Uh, oh, oh uh, there goes that <laughs> balloon. Um, luckily, you know, we have the uh, the grinder oh. from last episode. So all I always do is just, like, touch it just a little bit. And then there they oh, go. Oh, whoa. So uh, whoa. That's, that's quite easy. Yes, it is episode 1600. You know, as podcasts go... This is probably one of the longest running. I don't know if anybody keeps track of those things, but yeah, there's not February many. will, yeah, February is going to be ten years. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm trying oh, to make oh, it work. There oh, we go. Oh, Woo! Okay, I'll get that. And I have a champagne here. I have a. It's great of water. when the studio <laughs> is attached to your house. Oh, yeah, because you just walk had, home. Yeah. I know, right. Uh, all, no, all I had was a, a noisemaker, and then I saw you had balloons and the thing, and I called upstairs, and I said, Dennis, I need I need celebratory things quick. Yeah, it's great. Um, so I got a hat and champagne. and It's easy. It's easy. You know, props. Yeah. When, you, when your life is, full, is, is all around you, you can find as many props as you want. <laughs> yes, um, exactly. It's just fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah, I, you're right. In terms of just how long the show has been going, not only just the episode number, but this show is how many years running now? It started in February 2006, I think. 2006. So February, oh, we've already passed 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming up to 11 years. Wow. Wow. That's uh, I know. When, I know. when uh, YouTube itself was created in 2006, um, we, you know that uh, we have a long-running show here, which is uh, pretty fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Anything happened over the last week with you, uh, did that bump, um, Let's see. The, uh, the Mad Thing came out, and I was very happy to see that David Pogue, who's a big techie person and worked for The Times, uh, put the splash online. And someone else found, they said, oh, there's an Easter egg in the splash. It's Dick and his boat. I'll have to post that. Um, That's awesome. That the, the artist put in. I said that was great fun. 
And I thought I didn't have anything too thrilling. Just getting ready. I'm doing an ABC Sunday, so i am been getting gadgets for stocking. Oh, so you're doing a stocking yeah. stuffer today. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I got another uh, yeah crappy corner stocking stuffer. So, oh, okay. Uh, I, I bet your gadgets are going to be a little bit more um, maybe, good. Maybe. You know what? I Do you know about this about Amazon? Uh, the light switch in the bathroom burned out. Mm -hmm. So I bought a new one on Amazon and I paid the extra money to have it like the next day. Yeah. And it didn't come. So, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was really annoyed because I wanted it. Uh, and so I typed in online. Uh, so what would you do? Do you know there is a procedure for this? I would have called them, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I searched online and it says they only do this once a year per prime customer. If the gadget doesn't arrive, you tell them about it. And it took me about 20 minutes to find out where to tell them about it. Yeah. Uh, they give you a, a – they, they add a month of prime to your account. What? And they refund, they refund the extra money that you paid. Oh, well, that's good. I yeah, also know so – I, I've heard of stories of people who have gotten the item refunded. Um, especially, you know, I've, and this is in more of a, a shooting situation where we were trying to get something on film. And we had ordered, like, say, uh, a prop. And if it didn't arrive on time, you, know, you call them and you go, we don't have any use for this. So you can cancel it or – whatever and you know we just don't have it so they they outright you know took away all, all the cost of the the gadget or whatever we got and uh and then it still arrived and we got to keep it that's oh, awesome too okay. but who knows i mean it's all up to whichever support person yes, you get yes so. well finally it is really hard to find out how to contact us yeah and i finally got to the page it literally took 15 minutes i was into investor relations <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Amazon for your office, Amazon right. for, for missile launches. <laughs> Have you ever heard of, uh, I believe it's called Dial Zero. Um, da, 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 da. And I, f I forget if this is an app. And what it does is... Oh, is that the thing that lets you bypass? Yes. So this, is, this may be old and it may be out of date because this article was written in 2010. But um, it connects you directly. It tells you the exact process you have to go through in order oh, to, to get, get to a, a live person. human. Yes. So like wow. this American Airlines baggage. Call this. Press 7. Oh, okay. You know, uh, but this was written in 2010. I don't remember if this still exists or not. And it may be yeah. under a different name. Um, but I, I knew back then that I used that a few times when I was like, I needed to get in contact with someone really fast. I didn't want to go through all the crazy stuff and they give you the number and tell you exactly what steps to go to, to wow. get a human as fast That's as possible. Great. That's great. Yeah. No, I finally hit a thing and it said, talk to a person now. So yeah. I clicked on that and I just typed in, can you check this? And she said, well, I said, I read you can get a free month. And she said, let me check into that. And she said, all right, I'll give you a free month. Perfect. That's great. Yeah, yeah and then I'm, I'm seeing this dial a human thing. Oh, okay. Um, Are we on there? <laughs> dial the gizwiz. Dial um, the gizwiz. Let me see. This is very small text. Let me tell you. Oh, uh, I could see that. I see American Amtrak. I'm looking for Amazon. I don't see Amazon on there. Looks like it's a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, I, I also assume that if they get more than 10 calls, they just change the number or the procedure. <laughs> right, exactly. Hey, these people only spent two minutes on hold. How, is, how are they <laughs> getting right. through to us? This is, uh, right. we've got to change something here. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, yeah, okay. So you still have some gadgets from CES 2017. Yes, I have one left. I have one gadget left over. Uh, it doesn't apply to us, but perhaps someone in the chat room is about to have a baby. Ooh. And they might want to know about Snoo, S N O O. So let's learn about that. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz here at CES Unveiled. Very noisy. Hope uh, you can hear us. So what's new? 
I'm not saying what's new, but I'm saying what's snoo, because we're at happiest baby snoo, and it's called the smart sleeper, and Lizzie's gonna tell us why. <laughs> Yes, Snoo is the first responsive baby bed. It automatically responds to babies crying and fussing with different levels of sound and motion to help calm the baby when the baby just needs a little bit more sleep. Well, can you give us a, a, a de is this a working model? Yeah, I know the baby's not real, but yes. go ahead. Yes, so Snoo comes with a custom sleep sack called the Snoo Sack. And as you can see, it has bands inside that help swaddle the baby, which is very important to encourage sleep. All organic cotton. And then it also has, as you can see, wings on the, on the um, snoo sack, which is unique and custom to this exact product. And it attaches to safety clips on the base of the bed. This is critically important because it prevents the baby from rolling over. Oh, okay, which is a very bad thing. Yes, which can be very dangerous. Um, and it allows the baby to still move, but it doesn't allow the baby to get in a compromised position. It keeps them sleeping safely on their back up for the six months that the baby can be in this in this bed. And then, if you will, you want to push the button right over there. Uh, where is the button? Oh, over here, okay. And then, voila, Snoo starts moving with white noise, which is hard to hear in here, as well as motion. And this now, will, will it go on automatically if the baby starts crying? It does. So once you turn it on and the sleep sack is engaged in the safety clips, if the baby starts crying, it will automatically respond with increased levels of sound and motion, just enough sound and motion that the baby needs to calm the baby. Okay, and, and will it rock the baby all night, or at some point will it stop? It rocks the baby all night on a level that's about half this speed, and it's almost like being on a nice boat. It just rocks back and forth, a little bit of white noise to encourage and boost sleep. And as I said, if the baby cries, it will respond. If the baby cries for more than three minutes, it will automatically shut off and notify the parent via our app that the baby needs them. Maybe the baby needs a feeding, needs to change their diaper, or just wants to be snuggled. And when is this coming along, and for how much? It is currently available on happiestbaby.com. It's $1,160, and it comes with the bassinet as well as the three sleep sacks, small, medium, large, the mattress, and the fitted sheet. Amazing, and uh, we're seeing it here for the first time at CES Unveiled, and I'm gonna take off my shoes and I'm gonna get into this, so uh, we'll cut the camera while I do that. Uh, Lizzie, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Tiffany Bartolo, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Not the happiest baby, but a pretty happy guy. Bye. <laughs> I, I feel like uh, that you may need a larger sack uh, the, to be constructed for yes. adults. Adults who need this as well. I, need, I have trouble <laughs> sleeping, please. I need to be swaddled. Um, <sighs> Wow, that is a fa and the the design of this is amazing. It has this it has nice wood yeah, that, and the kind of and three three microphones that golly to the kid. Now it is pricey. Yeah, I mean it looks pricey. Woo. Yeah, um, eleven hundred and sixty bucks, and. Uh, if the baby cries too much, then it sends you in a message that the baby is crying, and so, whoa! I, yeah, I, I th almost <laughs> knocked over my champagne. <laughs> I'm getting drunk here. Hang on. Oh no! I, 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 <laughs> call a cab so, to go next I door and I go home. <laughs> um, I, so uh, you know, I, it's hard for me to get in the ad space of who would b would buy this, uh, especially at that price over a thousand dollars. You know. Um, it is very nicely designed. I saw the inside uh, also, you know, kind of went down and was a seamless tr transition between the mesh of the, of the, um, what do they call that, G cage, the carriage, the... Oh, the crib part. Crib, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yep. I mean, it looks really, really, really nice. It is the elite crib. Exactly. If you ever uh, wanted one. Yeah. It's better than duct tape. Make sure to say, I use duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, much a little better than duct tape. Um, so, yeah, there's the family. That's the family that would normally buy, uh, you know, the have, have enough disposable income to uh, yes, exactly. buy a 1000 We're, we're going to play video cloth. games and <laughs> use our virtual reality computer. Let me check well, Twitter while my baby is swaddled for me. <laughs> swaddled.
Yes. While Snoo handles the kid. Right, exactly. Um, I mean, obviously, it's an absolutely amazing product. It's it's the Nest thermostat for cribs. Yes, exactly. You know? Exactly. Um, and uh, I could absolutely understand how <laughs> parents would need that. Whew, that price point, though. Um, I know. So, yeah. Wow. I mean... That's some nice industrial design. There you go. There you go. Okay, so Snoo, Happiest Baby Snoo Crib. Snoo? Okay. With uh, yeah. some pretty amazing smart functions. Um, <laughs> they got that baby actor to cry. Just perfectly. I know, I know. Man. They said, why? Cry just a little. That's just it. A, oh, there wow. we go. The, the okay. baby really is good. Yeah. The thing wow. started, and now the kid's sleeping. It's going to be an Emmy, Emmy-nominated baby actor. That's pretty wow. amazing. Wow, that... <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Video. That was good. That was a good video. Okay, so Snoo, happiest Snoo? baby. Okay. Uh, so now moving on to Pepcom's last event of the year called Wine, Dine, and Demo. Last week we had the way to uh, use ultraviolet light to uh, clean your combs and your baby stuff. Now we move on to the ways to lock things up. And so this is a new thing called Smart Armor Cube. Okay, and we're going to play their video? Their video, exactly. Cool. Introducing Smart Cube, a revolutionary Bluetooth-enabled locking system. Smart Cube is the easiest and most affordable way to make everything you care about safe and secure. No more lost keys. Control all your locks with your smartphone. With built-in proximity detection, Smart Cube can detect when you're in range and lock automatically, then relock when you leave or you can set an encrypted passcode. You can also share and customize access to others. Share access to as many smart cubes with anyone you want, or restrict as needed. Monitor all your smart cubes through the Smart Armor app and track the usage of each electronic key you issue. This means you know exactly who opens your locks and when it happens and where it happens. Smart cubes made from durable materials and will immediately alert you if your stuff is tampered with, so you know everything is safe. It's small and simple to install. Mount it to any flat surface and turn your cabinets, drawers, and containers all into smart safes. Or come up with new ways to use it. Convenient, affordable, safe, and secure. Use SmartCube in your home, your office, or even when you're traveling. This is a revolutionary smart locking system that everyone can use and anyone can afford. But we need your help. We've tested prototype after prototype and are finally ready to get the SmartCube to you. Please back our campaign You'll be the first to get Smart Cube and will receive an exclusive discount, but only if you back it now. Let's be smart about our security. Please join us in making everyone's lives a little safer and a little more secure. Smart Cube, protect what matters. Thank you for your support. Wow, okay. So it's pretty self explanatory if you're listening to the audio version. There's a little cube that has sort of a uh, locking pin that will go into the cube and then will stay secure unless unlocked by the app. And it looks like it does proximity, it does a passcode, and you can share uh, each cube with other users. Exactly. And you can set it that it can only be open like between one and three if uh, the kids are going to be in that room at that time. And you can revoke, uh, revoke the uh, permission at any time. Now, I thought this was kind of interesting because we have a lot of ways to use Bluetooth, but I don't think anybody has come up with a way to, like, monitor a drawer right. or uh, something more, more urgent like the gun cabinet or the right. gun case. Right. We've seen a lot of Bluetooth locks for the house, for the yes. home, for a door. Not really anything for a cupboard or a traveling case that still has hard sides but doesn't have a doorknob. So that's now, I asked about the adhesive, and they said it's a very strong 3M. It's the adhesive they used to hold windows and skyscrapers. So, wow. Okay. Now, the, the thing that I think is not in their uh, behalf is that the prices on the Indiegogo thing seem pretty good. Also, they it looks like they're doing very well. Did they have three quarters of a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, uh, oh, 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 
coming up to half a million, yeah, now. Half, half a million dollars, okay? So they are saying when it's in the marketplace, each one is going to be 90 to to $100. Right, yeah. Their featured um, uh, level is 150 and you get three. So it ended up being about 50 bucks each. About half what the retail is. Right. So uh, I... I personally have I don't foresee a use for it in my life. Um, but I'm if looking there is the anyone, check. yeah, now's the time <laughs> to get in. If yes, if this uh, appeals to you, and they're supposed to be shipping not far away, uh, just next month. They actually had what seemed to be the finished product at at the uh, Pepcom event, and it's small. It's a one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch. And it has that blue light that lights when you open the drawer. Um, has a low battery LED. So it's Is the battery designed. replaceable or rechargeable? The battery, uh, you know, that's interesting. Because I remember it says him saying the CR2 battery lasts one to two years, and I'll and notify you. When you're you know what? Out. It's very funny because I don't see on that diagram. I don't see a USB port to recharge it. Right. Me neither. Um, and a lot of companies, I mean, a Tile, which is one of my favorite, um, like, key finder um, gadgets, that doesn't have a replaceable battery. No, I know. I when was it goes so low, you just buy a new one. A new one. I think they give you, like, 40% off if you send in your old Tile or something, but right. it is not. You cannot do anything with the old tile. The battery's dead and the tile is dead. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of replacement um, options, but I can also do a quick search to find it. Um, Everything has a replaceable battery, says Bleak. I assume you mean if you have a hacksaw or, or, and can get inside it. Ah, the battery is pre-installed and will last one to two years, then simply replace... With a CR2 battery. Oh! Okay. So it looks like it's a non-rechargeable. And I'm okay, that's checking good. what uh, is yeah. a CR2 battery. CR2 battery is an itty-bitty battery. That's, okay. that's all it is. That's, it's just one of these tiny batteries. So. Oh, okay. Then, that, then that's, a, that's, a, that's okay. a good... Okay, that's good. Yeah. Found that out. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Um, interesting. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, this is kind of the, my favorite part of the Internet of Things revolution is a lot of stuff that is very important that really we haven't had a good way to do until now. If you wanted a drawer that locked, you'd have to install a, a locking key with, you know, you almost have to call a locksmith and drill through the, the you know, whatever you were going to do. I mean, and it, of course, it's a dumb device. You can't share it with anything. So this is exactly what I'm excited about. It looks like it's a good product. It looks like it's the first that I've seen in this category. Yeah, me too. It's all, me it's too. all the points. Um, I still see, I feel like 50 bucks is the perfect price point. $100? Yeah. That's a little high up there, but... Also, I, I often wonder if companies say, let's say at retail, it's a million dollars. <laughs> right. But if they buy it today, it's $81. <laughs> right. And then when it goes on Amazon, it's 600% off. Look at that. Yes. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I agree. Uh, I've, I've seen that a few times. Here we go. We think it should be worth 400 bucks, but we're going to sell right. it for 120 <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, interesting. Good okay. gadget. Okay, now I, I, I accidentally thought uh, was doing an intro to the next gadget uh, by saying last week we had the thing that would sanitize whatever you dropped on the floor. Well, now this is a way to sanitize what you sleep on and the things in your home that won't fit in a sanitizer. So let's take a look at the Ray Cup. Hey, Dickie Oops, Bartolo. That was the wrong one. Oh, okay. New and they all hey, look Dickie alike. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, <laughs> Mads Metis writer, and the Gizwiz, One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at Pepcom's Wine, Dine, and Demo. So I wined, I dined, and now we're going to get a demo from Danielle. And as you saw, we're at the Ray Cop booth with this space age. What are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the RS2. It is a fabric purifier. 
This uses our patented RayClean technology to suck 99% of allergens, dust mites, bacteria, viruses, kills them from your fabric surfaces. Oh, this is great. And, and how do we do that? All right. So this uses our patented RayClean technology. I'll just kind of give you a little show here. This has a UV light, which is really what kills those bacteria and viruses. It has pulsating pads that shake up your fabrics to loosen up the dirt. Then it has a brush here to help scoop it all up and suction to get it all out of your fabrics. This also has dual filtration. It has a dust box here. And if you just take a look right there, that's a dirty dust box. That's what it's going to look like when you're done using it. And it comes with a brush. You just run it underwater, scrub it clean, let it dry, and can put it right back in and use it again. Can you turn it on for us? Sure. This also has a HEPA filter, which gets all those allergens out and traps them, which is key for people with allergies or asthma. So this one has three settings, heavy, normal, and delicate. Heavy you would want to use on upholstery, a mattress, uh, normal. The brush is running and the pulsating. And it's, yeah, so this is controlling the suction power. So this is what you really need on those really thick fabrics, for sure, is the heavy. So then we have the normal, good for blankets and bedding. And then delicate you could use on curtains, you could use on you know throw pillows. Anything that, you know, you need a little less suction. Okay. Now, yeah. I know that you should not look into ultraviolet light. So right. if you pick this up. Right. So this right now is showing you here that uh, these lights, that the UV light is on. If you pick it up, it has that safety feature, and it auto shuts off the light. Like that. So you can't see okay. into it. Okay. And the model that he's demoing over there? The Raycop light. It has the same great features. It just doesn't have the brush. It's better for more delicate surfaces. The brush is... A little too abrasive. You could use this on your clothing, a dry clean only especially. You could use it for a yoga mat. It also only has the one suction mode, perfectly calibrated for the ideal fabrics. Okay, and the price points on the two of them? $349.99 for the RS2 and $189.99 for the light. And your website is www.raycop.com. Yeah. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Metis writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. After we shut the camera, I'm going to get myself cleaned, but good. <laughs> Bye. You, know, you got you, you to gotta keep all, everything clean. I, I like to stand uh, just in the sun and let the UV light of the sun just destroy all bacteria. Uh, my well, neighbors think it's weird, but... Uh, <laughs> Oh, you stand out there in the buff? And oh, yes, absolutely. Every morning. Um, <laughs> I gotta, I'm worried about those dust mites. Um, yeah. So the ray cop, uh, so that thing looks like a stingray. I mean, it's it a, does. It was so funny. Someone said, uh, Harry, uh, ha Harry, I forgot the guy's name, the guy who does special effects, could use one of those as a spaceship. Right. Uh, uh, I know, but according to like the uh, uh, EPA, a single mattress could have 10 million dust mites. Uh, on the other hand, uh, none of us have ever cleaned, <laughs> used any of these devices when we grew, when we were growing up. So, no. yeah, um, I mean, it's a market that I've never thought of: is to vacuum your mattress, to vacuum. It's the your Howie sheets. Mandel. Yeah. Uh, gadget. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Is that you know you you lose skin cells, you lose stuff in your in your sheets all the time, instead of. Uh, you know, by prolonging the the time in between cleanings of your sheets, you could you could vacuum the uh, the sheets. Makes sense. Makes some yeah. makes some good sense. Um, some good sense. Yeah. And so, uh, and you know, you don't really need anything that has a, a long push. You know, you just need the handheld um, vacuum cleaner. So interesting. I don't think I'll be buying it anytime soon. I don't think it's for me. But I'm sure that there's someone out there. Who's going, yep. oh my God, and, Howie and if Mandel, the, amazing. If, well. if someone in the chat room is ser sincerely interested in one of these, uh, email me, gizwizbiz at AOL.com. Because they sent reporters a 30% off uh, code. Ooh. And I'm not going to use it. So if yes. uh, someone seriously wants to buy one of these, you can have my code. Gizwizbiz.aol.com. Cool. So the light, once again, is priced at $189, and the full version is $349. So $350, $190, or $350 for uh, both vacuums. Interesting. Interesting. And that brings us to... The ad! <laughs>
An ad. An ad. Oh, oh. I'm very, oh. very, very excited to uh, have Casper as our sponsor for this episode. You guys know Casper mattresses. Uh, we've talked about them before. In fact, it's the mattress that I use. I love Casper mattresses. They've been revolutionizing the mattress industry with a fantastically and, and obsessively engineered mattress. Uh, I've used my mattress now for over a year and I still love it. They have combined two technologies in this memory foam mattress. They have, of course, latex and memory foam to create the perfect balance of sink and bounce so that you, the, the mattress is super comfortable but still it's bouncy which is really nicely required because it makes you feel like it's an actual mattress. And they have an amazing policy when it comes to trying them out. Normally you go into a mattress store, there's people watching you, you only have a few seconds to figure out if this is the mattress that you're gonna like and love for a long time. Well, you don't have to do that because they've cut out all the middlemen and gone straight to you. You can get a mattress delivered and then test it out for a hundred days. A little less than a third of a year you get to test out this mattress and make sure that it is the perfect mattress for you. And there's free shipping and returns within the U.S. and Canada. And their prices are also very nice and competitive, especially if you look at other memory foam mattresses. Uh, this is just absolutely an amazing mattress. And while you're at Casper's website, casper.com, they've, they've started to get into so many other categories. They now have a duvet cover now they have sheets they even have a dog bed i was scrolling down here they have a oh pillow <laughs> look at the dog bed they they really are and when i say when they are revolutionizing the industry i really mean it there are um a lot of people that uh are not doing it as well as casper is doing casper is the tried and true and i really 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 uh think that casper is a fantastic company and I'm 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 eating my own uh, you know I uh, eat my own dog food as they say in the app industry because I sleep on a Casper mattress every single night so I really really mean it. Uh, if you want uh, fifty dollars off any mattress purchase by visiting Casper.com/gizwiz and then enter the promo code gizwiz for fifty dollars off any mattress purchase by visiting Casper.com/gizwiz and then using the promo code gizwiz when you check out. And thank you so much, Casper, for your support yes. of yes, yes. the Gizwiz. And now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we try to stop them, but it doesn't work. It's time for Chad's Crappy oh, yeah. Corner. Yeah. But, but you <laughs> might want it at <laughs> Chad's <laughs> Crappy Corner. Oh, it's Get it. falling apart. Here we go. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this is stuffy, Stocking Stuffer Month. And what's funny is last week we uh, we covered a the Engrave It Pro Tool, which was as, yeah, as seen on TV. Yeah, it was kind of good, except for balloons. Uh, except for balloons. Keep it away from balloons. You, you know... Oh, well, that one kind of got away from us, but... Oh, oh, hey, you know what? This one... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, that was an on scene on, on TV gadget, and I just happen to have another one. Uh, this is the Ever Bright. This is for someone in your family like me who maybe has a house or um, a, sh a work shed or something that does not have a light on the side of the building. What I like about this is, whoops, there's Casper. Uh, this is a light that uses a solar panel to recharge itself Ooh. every single day. So basically you attach it to the wall, it has a three M adhesive on the back, or it has a uh, sort of sunken in screw uh, area or a, another screw hole on the top. So I uh, tested it out and it has a few different modes. First, there's an on off switch at the bottom, which I actually enjoy because while carrying it around, it's not just all, it's not like one of those pull tabs and then it's just active forever. It does have an actual switch, which I enjoy. Um, so this 
uh, has three different modes. First off, during the day, and it, it suggests that you face it southwards so that it will get light all day long. Um, but if you can't, it needs about nine hours of sunlight during the day to recharge itself. That's in charging mode. Then it has a dusk mode, which keeps the light on all the time. And in fact, I'm, I may be able to uh, just leave it there and stand still just a little bit. Um, and it'll go down to half brightness. That's what it claims. It, it feels more like an 80% brightness uh, dimming. So it only does about 20% light. There you go. So it's actually, it's hard to tell in, uh, in this studio and we can turn off the lights here. So you can see that oh, okay. it's, it's very faintly showing off a little bit of light. And then now, if, if you walk by it again, it'll go right. to full bright. Oh, okay. It'll go to full bright. So you're always going to have a little bit of light at night. Um, even when you're walking up to it until it motion activates and turns on into full brightness. There's four LEDs at the front. Those are rated for 50,000 hours. So there's, there's it going to um, half dimness. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> it was working before. I tested it out uh, in my living room. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the panel is rated for five years. So hopefully you can get quite a lot of uh, use out of um, this product. Um, I think it's nice because installing a light is very, very hard and difficult. Um, and uh, having a motion activated light that is weatherproof. Uh oh, my, my light might be dying here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually put it outside, so this is with whatever charge it, it currently has right now is uh, what it's working with. So I can't uh, blame it too much for um, not no, working No, and I like the way it's angled down to the ground. I exactly. Like so, yeah, you'd put it on a surface and it angles yeah. down just like that. Um, it's also weather uh, resistant, so and weatherproof, basically. So it could be rained on or snowed on and that sort of thing, and it'd be just fine. And... The cost, it. the cost. Oh, the cost. Okay, so uh, this is obviously a product that you uh, could could call in and order, or I found it online for about under ten dollars. So oh, yeah, so this good. is for nine seventy nine right now on Amazon, and uh, I don't know. I thought it was a nice little stocking stuffer to get someone who um, yeah, I like who goes that. out and about. Yeah, and, and you know we all. Even if you don't want to use this outside, um, you may be able to put it inside next to a window. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't read any reviews about people using it indoors and using the light indoors just to charge it um, at night and then you know use it at night as a nightlight. It's more of an outdoor um, situation, but uh, I think it's uh, it's quite nice. A quite nice little device. So you could put this near stairs, near a garage door, near a workshop. Um, Anything like that, patios. That no, sort of I, I like it. I like it. So there you go. Uh, on Amazon, it has three and a half stars out of 860, uh, sorry, 888 reviews. And it is called the Everbright, Everbright Motion Activated LED Solar Light in black. Yeah. You know, go back up because it looks like was there a cheaper multiple... Uh, Looked like here, like, what's this four pack? It looked like this is forty bucks for four of them. Oh, Number it's the one same thing. Best seller. Actually, yeah. it's a touch more. Your power, your power. Oh, this one has eight LEDs. Oh my gosh, there's competitors oh, in the marketplace. Oh, your whoa. power is, has eight LEDs as a four pack, which costs forty bucks. So it's a little bit uh, uh, over. Just a few pennies more. Yeah. Holy cow! Look at this one. This was 24. 20, 24 LEDs. Yeah, but you know, you have to live in the desert to be Light able to charge on. the battery enough to. Cheesy Louisey. Holy cow. Oh, look, there's there's the one I have. There's this one. Oh. You can tell by the glare. It is much yeah. brighter. That's the lighting a studio. Yeah, man. That one's a, twice as expensive, though. Um, but yeah, I hate well, this, that, by Jesus. the way. Jesus. When There's you go a, to buy something and you look down and then you find another version and then another version. Yeah. And then, and, and then oh, look at this. It's getting this one bigger. This has 54 LEDs. It shows, 
Golly. This can light an entire city. There's one with 5 million LEDs. It actually does keep going. This one's 62. We were just on <laughs> 54. That is a riot. Well, you have your choice of uh, <laughs> versions. Yeah, if you want to light an airstrip, we suggest the 500 <laughs> LED version. Oh, my gosh. If you have a outdoor theater and you need studio <laughs> lighting um that's quite hilarious but yeah so um I, you know I, I think that it's just nice it's a nice built-in package and uh yeah i think so too so there you go the ever bright as seen on tv outdoor um uh solar panel light that's it for chad's crappy corner with that Let's jump in to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Bug on. Uh, we got no videos this week, but actually, I will beg for videos after this, but it's okay because something exciting is going to happen to a gadget in my warehouse, and you'll learn about it here. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Maz, Madness writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Recording this in November 2016. Press releases for CES 2017 are coming in at a rapid uh, pace, along with a very interesting email from a friend of mine, Stuart Wolpin, who says, Dear fellow CE journalist, consumer electronic journalist, I have recently been named official CTA historian, Consumer Technology Association historian, and he said, one of my missions is to help celebrate 50 years of CES at CES 2017 by collecting historical significant gadgets. So they sent a list. I had the Sony Walkman, the original one with metal, had two earphone jacks, a microphone jack, not to record, but to not take the headphones off and be able to talk to a person because as they spoke, it would go into the microphone. Anyway, in my search, I found the Timex Data Link watch. Oh my God. So Stu said they're very interested in exhibiting this because this is indeed the world's first smartwatch. It had apps, just 10 apps and like anniversaries, uh, contacts. Phone numbers, yeah. And I also found a 20-year-old Timex commercial, which I have here. And so now he's typing messages. And they spend more time on the jokes the than the watch, okay? But this is what you did. Beams you beams held it up to the computer. The computer to your wrist with just a touch of your palm. So now the door goes in. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> he changes it to new to the cat. The Timex Data Link watch. And the cat <laughs> changes it back. Oh, my so gosh. So it's very funny. Let me just stop that screen from going. Uh, okay. So the problem was you needed a CRT screen to be bright enough. <laughs> LEDs and broke pulses. it. And yes. the pulses actually were sending the info to the watch. There's a tiny little window up at the top here, and that's where the pulses were. And what happened was when they went to LCD screens, it's probably not bright enough, but um, if it's there, it's great. This is the Galaxy S6, which is tremendous uh, in dim light. So what Timex came out with was... A workaround and that was this guy which you had to buy so it was a serial port you would plug it into your laptop and then this guy would send the info to the watch it was really kind of unique uh, it held 150 phone numbers providing you only had phone numbers if you wanted names and phone numbers then 75 if you wanted names and maybe addresses maybe you're down to uh, 40 or 50 but it was the world's first smartwatch. And something else, folks. 
I bought the battery for it. And you know, I was going to try to put the battery in myself, but I don't want to mess it up if they're going to display it at CES 2017. But one battery lasted three years. Wow. Okay. One CR 2025 was a, a three year battery. Uh, so that's it. The Timex data link model 150 and this is dick d bartolo mads maddest writer and the gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv they wanted to display me too but i said no bye the, the man that is such an ancient gadget i can't <laughs> i can't believe you have well, you one. know I, I loved it so much i bought two that's why i had one in a box and so you you there were 10 apps that you could pick from and then you, you, on your computer, you pick the apps you wanted, and then you sent the apps to the watch by holding your, your uh, watch up to the screen. There you go. There's the little window up at the top. And you'll notice my, uh, at the bottom, it says Microsoft. And then the pulses from the CRT would go to the watch, and you would be amazed. You'd hear, you'd hear these little sounds from the watch. Yeah, exactly. Right, and then ever, and then sometimes you had to send it three times before the watch got it, but it was pretty unique. It was the only time you couldn't do anything back the other way. You couldn't transfer uh, info from, from the, watch the watch back, yeah, or put to, to the yeah, put info into the watch when it was on your wrist. Yeah, exactly. How you popular to, were these? Because I mean, to to update extra models like this is the Data League Fifty on. Uh, yes, well, this you know what they. The, then I bought the USB version that was really uh, connected. It, it clipped onto the side of the watch. I think down at the bottom of that thing where you just wore. There, there are the USB versions oh, right weird. there along oh, the okay. bottom. Uh, so it, it had more info and there were more apps for it. They had It was open source, so people were building apps for it. People were building like golf score things and also they were regular timex uh data uh data watches so they were waterproof and they had four alarms um but don't forget this is 24 years ago or so so right back back then it was kind of amazing wow yeah, yeah it seems like they were this is a very very popular thing astronauts are using them they have yes, so many different I, models they came out with serial port adapters and people started switching to uh, LCD monitors or the refresh rate wasn't fast enough. I mean, golly. <laughs> yeah, it did stay around for a lot of years. That's amazing. And of course, there are tons of them uh, on uh, eBay and not cheap. Most no. of them are in the 100 to $200 range. Wow, man. Uh, you so, have a historical artifact with you. I do, I do. That's I wish I, I do have that Sony Walkman. Um, which was so funny because when I first saw it, I, I, I said to the guy, why does it say microphone on the front of this? Does it record too? And he said, no, when you're wearing your headphones, it was so bizarre. When someone comes up to you, you don't take your headphones off. You hold down the microphone button. So much easier. And then as they talk, it amplifies it up into your headsets. <laughs> so that isn't that a riot? Oh yeah, this is everybody will be doing this in the future. Yes, you yes. Know? That Don't lasted. take off your headphones. <laughs> just hold your Walkman up to them so that you can yeah, I, hear I what they're saying. Yeah. That's very but, funny. Anyway, so <laughs> awesome. Okay, it's, it's it's already in Washington at CES. The deadline for it to be there was tomorrow, and it got there today. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, well, moving on to... Oh, wait. Before we move on, let's yes. tell people where they can send in their uh, videos, their warehouse yeah, videos. Yeah, videos. And not only that, but you want to do it now because you will be getting the February issue of MAD, which has my six-page Sully takeoff in it, already loved by David Pogue um, of New York Times and Discovery Channel and C uh, CBS This Morning fame. Um, so send a, a video and I want to, uh, introduce one additional, uh, uh, subject to think about. If you ever bought anything on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, that would be a great video to tell us what you bought, 
what you got and what you think of it and what you paid. Okay, like a two to three minute video like today we did. Uh, did we do two? Well, we did one thing from Indiegogo, but we're talking about things that you bought in the past that yeah. that actually that actually showed up. You know? Yeah, like, and maybe like, like what you expected it to be, and then what it actually ended up being. Yeah, that and did you like it? And did you think it got taken? And was it worth it? This is a, a whole uh, category I had. I thought about this morning when I was looking at that um, cube lock device. I was thinking, I wonder what this is going to be like in a year, and that made me think. Well, you know, what are projects or, and products from a year ago uh, are like now? And you are the perfect person who might have invested in something. So make us a video. My favorite gadget of all time. I bought a piece of crap. I did buy this on Indiegogo or Kickstarter. Two to three minute video. Put it on YouTube. As you upload it, you'll see uh, some choices there. Click unlisted if you don't want people to stumble across it. And send us the link to that. And it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show it, you'll get that February, that highly coveted February issue. Uh, one article has art by Dennis Wonderland in it. So you want that issue. Uh, email at gizwiz.tv and get that video. And we need something for next week. So Perfect. do it now. Do it today. And with that, let's jump into the letter. Christmas time, oh Christmas time. Uh, Eric Duckman said, how about if I bought an As Seen on TV gadget? Of course! Yes! That works too. We need too. that. We need that. Our letter of the week is from Steve K. from Hopatcong, New Jersey. The subject is, check this item out on Amazon. The message is, I don't know if you got this email too. Read some of the reviews. Some are hilarious. It's called the Relax Man Relaxation Capsule. Uh, it's a great show. I watch it every week. Keep it going. Steve K. So here we go, folks. Only 69000 Nine hundred and ninety-five dollars, and not Amazon Prime. No, it's two thousand five hundred dollars in shipping. Yeah, twenty-five hundred dollars in shipping. It's, it has to fly first class, you understand. Yeah, yes, it when is. it comes to you. Uh, but so, just go to. I mean, the it reviews. is highly reviewed. Four stars out of uh, yes, apparently so, ninety-three people have reviewed it. I, I. I love this product. It's re relaxing. Uh, what do, are some of the... The question oh, uh, on FAQ. Do pickles fit in it? <laughs> Only dill! Only, Only dill. This dill. is one of those products. We haven't seen this in a long time where everybody is just having... Uh, uh, is it portable? <laughs> Answer. How much weight can you carry on your back? I see two answers. One second. Uh, <laughs> sure, it's portable. Otherwise, they'd... Uh, <laughs> they, Otherwise, how, how they can they bring it to your it home? To your home? <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, it's a Planet Zorb Health Clinic. Um, before I hit the purchase button, I want to confirm that this is equipped with hyper sleeping. I would like to fast forward a few years, <laughs> and this seems perfect. Unfortunately, hyper sleep isn't without its risks. Last time I did it myself, I woke up in an alien life form attempting to thrust uh, something down my esophagus. That is incredible. Um, great product for weekend getaways. <laughs> this capsule this is very funny, isn't it? Answered all uh, of our uh, babysitting it needs. My, it, I, it cured my problem. At one time, I had frequent disturbing nightmares about my own death. Now that I have the capsule, I actually experience a realistic simulation of death every night. My nightmares are gone. I could not be more satisfied. Five stars. Oh it's very gosh. fun. It's very. I'll put the link also uh, on my website. Oh my gosh, that is just hilarious. I, I, you know, I really want to know. I mean, what was the actual product like? Uh, and here, here's. Well, I a, guess. Have you ever been in an isolation tank? 
This is oh. the 50 second TV oh, spot good. Good. for the Relax Man oh. uh, capsule. Oh my gosh, that looks terrifying. It looks like you can put some music inside of it and you get some lights. LEDs, you get that garage light that's in there. Oh my, yeah, we oh, need the okay. Everbright. Wait a minute, say, don't get in there with her. Okay. Oh my God, he locked her in. This I'm, is I'm terrifying. I'm claustrophobic. I would, I would, yeah, be, no, I would I freak out. <laughs> uh, well, um, interesting. What Just, phone number is that? <laughs> from Italy. It says uh, oh, it's a TV it, spot in Italy. Oh, that's why it's $2,500 to ship. ship. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pac and W says, isn't this what they buried Spock in in the second Star Trek movie? <laughs> I this think is they, what they did. shipped they it, yes, when they did flying the, him out into space. You got the space burial. Um wow. That's incredible. The Relax Man Relaxation Capsule by Relax yeah. Man. And you know, if someone wants to buy that and make a we'll let you make a four minute video. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We'll give you a whole extra 60 seconds to cover the Relax yeah. Man relaxation uh, capsule. Steve, uh, K, uh, Steve K, thank you uh, for alerting us about the, re uh, the Relax Man relaxation capsule. God, so funny. Uh, we have come to the portion of our show where we like to thank our patrons over at Patreon.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, this... Uh, you know, we had an ad on this show, but most of our support comes from our audience. Uh, really, this is an audience-driven show, and without your support, we really couldn't do it. And thank you so, so, so much for all of the support that you have given us over on Patreon. Patreon. You got us up to, well, let me, I have a different 16. number. We have a number, so it shows 1,600. This is our 84th show that was made possible by our Patreons. That we really would not have been able to live on its own yeah. without our patrons. So thank you so, 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 so much. Patreon.com is a platform for people to support independent content creators like ourselves. And Patreon.com slash Gizwiz is where you can support the show. So if you've enjoyed listening and watching and laughing at the Gizwiz... Uh, go ahead and show your support. That would be fantastic if you That would, would be great. Go on over to gizwiz.biz. That's where Dickie D has written up nice articles about all of the gadgets that we've covered on the show. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? You got to guess to figure out what this gadget is. It's the whole gadget, not just a part of it. Um, and it's pretty obvious that uh, this is a... Pencil safety. Uh, pencils are very sharp, and there is an epidemic of pencils poking people. So you put your pencil <laughs> in the top of it, and it keeps that pencil tip away from poking anybody. It's a nice gadget to have. And then you can just flip off the front of it and start writing whenever you want. Uh, if you guess... Uh, correctly, there's 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, but 24 and many times more for funny, hilarious, cute, clever, and interesting answers, joke answers. And you get this yes. copy of Mad's, Mad, 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 from the Mad, Maddest Writer himself, Dick D. Bartolo, signed to use. So thank you uh, for going on over and getting a guessing over at The Gadget. If you want to watch this show live, we record over at gizwiz.tv. That's also our website where we keep all the show notes and links to all of the gadgets. Whoops, that's uh, patreon.com slash gizwiz. Um, and gizwiz.tv, uh, we will just show up live when we're live. We try to record every Thursday around 4.30 uh, Pacific time. That's about 7.30 Eastern time. You'll just see us live. If we're not live, that video will not be there. Right oh, underneath no. is the chat room. You can go ahead and join and hang out. And then you can also subscribe to the show on iTunes or any podcatcher of your choice with RSS or on YouTube. That about wraps it up for this episode of The Giz Wiz. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.